Welcome to a world where flavor meets kidney-friendly goodness. In this video, we'll unveil some incredible meal planning ideas that'll make you forget you're eating for your kidneys. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. We're diving into the world of meal planning for chronic kidney disease, CKD. Let's talk about how we can create delicious meals while keeping our kidneys happy and healthy. CKD may be a silent disease, but we're not staying silent about it. So join me in this fun and informative video as we explore the dietary implications of CKD and learn some awesome tips for meal planning and some recipe modifications. Get ready to empower yourself with knowledge and make your meals kidney friendly. Let's get cooking. Hey there, fabulous foodies of the season to perfection age group. Ready to dive into the world of kidney friendly cuisine? If you thought CKD meant can't know delicious, think again. We're about to prove that theory wronger than socks with sandals. Here's what's on the menu. Meal planning for CKD. Think of it as designing a culinary masterpiece that not only tickles your taste buds, but also gives your kidneys a big old thumbs up. Who said kidney-friendly meals have to be bland as watching paint dry? The CKD lowdown. We're peeling back the layers like a tear-free onion on CKD. From its sneaky silent progression to the dietary do's and don'ts, we've got the scoop. Balancing act. Ever tried juggling? Me either. But balancing nutrients in your meals? Now that's a circus act we can master. We'll chat about portion sizes, the magic of variety, and why your plate should look like a rainbow, minus the leprechaun. Bulk cooking bonanza. Ever want to cook like you're feeding an army, even if it's just for you? Discover the joys of bulk cooking. It's like meal prep, but with more leftovers and fewer dishes. Grocery shopping shenanigans. We're going on a supermarket safari. Equip yourself with tips and tricks to hunt down those kidney-friendly ingredients. And no, you don't need binoculars, just your reading glasses. I wear them too. If you're ready to chuckle, chow down, and change up your culinary game, you're in the right place. Let's whisk away into the world of delicious, kidney-friendly, and kidney-loving meals. And remember, age is just a number, but flavor that's timeless. Let's spill the beans on CKD and peel back the layers of kidney-friendly eating habits for a healthier future. Chronic kidney disease, CKD, is a gradual loss of kidney function that often goes unnoticed until it reaches advanced stages. The silent disease leads to the accumulation of waste and fluids in the body, necessitating dietary adjustments. CKD impacts nutrient intake, requiring individuals to limit sodium, potassium, phosphorus, and protein, while ensuring adequate calcium and vitamin D. To manage CKD, individuals must carefully plan meals and modify recipes. By selecting the right ingredients and adjusting cooking methods, they can still enjoy delicious meals while adhering to dietary restrictions. Protein restriction is crucial in managing CKD as excessive protein intake burdens the kidneys. However, it's important to strike a balance to avoid malnutrition. Working with the registered dietitian can help determine the appropriate protein intake for each stage of the disease and you can check out our video about CKD dietary restrictions from stage one to stage five overview linked above. Sodium restriction is also vital as excessive sodium can lead to fluid retention and high blood pressure, further damaging kidney function, opting for fresh ingredients, reducing processed and packaged foods, and avoiding excessive salt usage can help maintain a low sodium diet. Managing potassium levels is essential since impaired kidney function can lead to high potassium levels, causing cardiac arrhythmias and muscle weakness. Avoiding high potassium foods like bananas, oranges, tomatoes, and potatoes can help in potassium management. Again, you should only worry about your potassium if it's elevated in your blood tests. Elevated phosphorus levels contribute to complications such as bone and cardiovascular issues in CKD. Avoiding phosphorus-rich foods like dairy products some nuts, certain protein sources can help control phosphorus intake. Using phosphate binders may also be beneficial in reducing phosphorus absorption. And the test that your doctor would do for phosphorus levels, which is when you would start restricting, is a phosphate test. You might need to ask them to do that test. Meal planning and recipe modifications empower individuals with CKD to take control of their health. By making conscious choices and following a kidney-friendly eating plan, they can slow down the progression of the disease and maintain better overall health. You might be wondering who I am and why I'm qualified to talk about this. If you're someone living with chronic kidney disease, I've got great news for you. Hello, I'm Mathia Ford, a registered dietitian nutritionist specializing in CKD and owner of renaldiethq.com. 
I specialize in helping people just like you improve their health by making simple yet delicious changes to your meals. Together, we could transform your eating habits, boost your overall well-being, and ensure that you're enjoying every bite along the way. Say goodbye to bland and boring meals and say hello to a healthier, more vibrant life. Let's get started on this incredible journey to better health together. Visit renaldiethq.com today and take the first step towards a healthier lifestyle. Now we will explore the importance of a well-balanced meal plan and discuss how to build a meal plan with the right proportions of nutrients by understanding appropriate portion sizes for specific nutrients and creating a diverse menu. We can ensure our meal plans are nutritionally adequate. So let's dive in. A well-balanced meal plan is essential for maintaining overall health and well-being. It ensures that our bodies receive all the necessary nutrients, vitamins, and minerals it needs to function optimally. A balanced meal plan provides us with energy, supports our immune system, helps maintain a healthy weight, and reduces the risk of chronic diseases such as heart disease, diabetes, and certain cancers. To create a meal plan with the right proportion of nutrients, we need to consider two key factors, determining appropriate portion sizes for specific nutrients and creating a diverse menu. Portion sizes play a crucial role in maintaining nutrient balance and preventing overeating. Each nutrient has specific recommendations for daily intake and understanding portion sizes can help us meet those requirements. I'm gonna give you some examples. You may or may not have received instruction from a dietitian specifically on what you need to eat. So I would say that that instruction supersedes any education that I'm giving you as a general guideline, but these are good general guidelines that can help you get started. Protein, aim for three to four ounces of lean protein, such as chicken, fish, or tofu per meal. Carbohydrates include one to two servings of whole grains, such as brown rice, rice, or quinoa per meal. Fruits and vegetables, fill half your plate with a variety of colorful fruits and vegetables, aiming for at least five servings per day. Healthy fats, incorporate a small amount of healthy fats, such as avocado, nuts, or olive oil into your meals. Dairy or dairy alternatives, include one to two servings of low-fat dairy or dairy alternatives, such as yogurt or almond milk. Variety is key when it comes to meal planning. A diverse menu ensures that we obtain a wide range of nutrients from different food sources. Here are some tips for creating a varied menu. Include a variety of fruits and vegetables of different colors as each color represents different antioxidants and phytochemicals. Incorporate different types of protein sources such as lean meats, poultry, fish, legumes, and plant-based proteins like tofu or tempeh. Choose whole grains such as oats, quinoa, or whole wheat bread over refined grains. Experiment with herbs, spices, and condiments to add flavor without relying on excessive salt or sugar. Try new recipes or cuisines to introduce different flavors and ingredients into your meal plan. Incorporating variety and nutrient balance into our meal plans is crucial for maintaining optimal health, determining appropriate portion sizes for specific nutrients, and creating a diverse menu, we can ensure our meals are well-balanced and nutritionally adequate. Remember, a colorful plate filled with a variety of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats is the key to a well-balanced meal plan. If you found this video so far engaging, informative, and useful, we'd greatly appreciate your support. By hitting the subscribe button, you can ensure that you never miss out on any future updates, insights, or exciting content that we have in store for you. And now back to our regularly scheduled programming. All right, now let's talk about cooking in bulk for convenience and efficiency. In this section, we're going to talk about the benefits of batch cooking and for individuals with CKD and discuss strategies for successful meal prep. Let's talk about it now. Cooking in bulk offers numerous advantages for individuals with CKD. Let's explore some of these benefits. Number one, it's time saving. Batch cooking allows you to prepare multiple meals at once, saving you valuable time in the kitchen. By dedicating a few hours each week to cooking, you can have nutritious and kidney-friendly meals ready to enjoy throughout the week. Cost-effective. Buying ingredients in bulk often leads to significant savings. Additionally, cooking in large quantities reduces energy consumption, making it a cost-effective option. By planning your meals carefully and buying ingredients in bulk, you can stretch your budget further. Portion control. When cooking in bulk, you have better control over portion sizes. This is particularly important for individuals with CKD as maintaining a balanced diet with appropriate portion sizes is crucial for kidney health. Nutritional control. Cooking your meals allows you to have complete control over the ingredients you use, ensuring that they align with your dietary needs. 
For individuals with CKD, it's essential to work on limiting sodium, potassium, and phosphorus intake. And batch cooking allows you to monitor and adjust these nutrients accordingly by changing recipes or changing the way you cook things. Now that we understand the benefits of cooking in bulk, let's explore some strategies for successful batch cooking and meal prepping. Choose recipes that are suitable for batch cooking and can be easily divided into individual portions. Consider dishes that can be frozen and reheated without compromising taste and texture. Look for kidney-friendly recipes that incorporate low sodium, potassium, and phosphorus ingredients. Many times, crockpot recipes work well and sheet pan dinners. You can just adjust the ingredients based on your limitations, dump it into the crock pot, or slide it out onto a, a sheet pan, and you have a dinner in a short amount of time. Proper storage techniques are crucial to maintain the freshness and safety of your batch cooked meals. Here's some guidelines. Invest in high quality airtight containers. Use durable containers that are freezer safe and airtight to prevent freezer burn and maintain food quality. Label and date containers. Clearly label each container with the dish's name and date of preparation. That's gonna help you keep track of the freshness and avoid confusion. Portion out individual servings. Divide your batch cooked meals into individual servings or family sized portions before storing. This will make it easier to thaw and reheat only what you need. Number four, freeze in appropriate quantities. Freeze your meals in quantities that suit your needs. For example, if you live alone, freeze in single portions, while larger families may prefer larger portions. Follow proper thawing and reheating procedures. Thaw frozen meals in the refrigerator overnight before reheating. Reheat thoroughly, ensuring the internal temperature reaches 165 degrees Fahrenheit or 74 degrees centigrade to kill any bacteria. By following these strategies, you can ensure that your batch cooked meals remain safe, fresh, and convenient to enjoy throughout the week. Cooking in bulk offers immense convenience and efficiency for individuals with chronic kidney disease. It saves time, money, allows for better portion control and nutritional control, and promotes a healthier lifestyle. When you are tired or not feeling well, these can be a lifesaver for you to make a healthy meal quickly. By selecting suitable recipes and employing proper storage techniques, you can successfully incorporate batch cooking and meal prepping into your routine. Enjoy the convenience and benefits of cooking in bulk. Now let's discuss the essential steps for grocery shopping to ensure you have all the necessary ingredients for your planned meals. We'll also focus on selecting kidney-friendly ingredients, including fresh produce with low potassium content and low sodium canned goods and condiments. The first step in successful grocery shopping is creating a comprehensive grocery list based on your planned meals. This not only helps you stay organized, but ensures you have all the necessary ingredients to prepare kidney-friendly meals throughout the week. To start, review your meal plan and identify the recipes you plan to make. Take note of the ingredients required for each dish and add them to your grocery list. Be sure to consider the quantity needed for each ingredient to avoid overbuying or underbuying. Additionally, consider incorporating versatile ingredients that can be used in multiple recipes. For example, fresh vegetables like bell peppers, onions, and carrots can be used in stir fries, salads, and soups, providing both flavor and additional nutrition. When it comes to selecting kidney-friendly ingredients, two primary considerations are fresh produce and low potassium content, and low sodium canned goods and condiments. So let's explore each of these in detail. Potassium is an essential mineral that helps maintain proper heart and muscle function. However, for individuals with CKD, high levels of potassium in the blood can be harmful. Therefore, it's crucial to choose fresh produce with low potassium content if you need that restriction. Some examples of low potassium fruits and vegetables include green beans, cauliflower, cabbage, apples, pears, berries, and pineapples. These options can be incorporated into various dishes, providing essential vitamins and minerals and fiber without compromising kidney health. Reducing sodium intake is also crucial for individuals with CKD as high sodium levels can definitely lead to fluid retention and increased blood pressure. When selecting canned goods and condiments, opt for low sodium options to maintain a kidney friendly diet. Look for canned beans, tomatoes, and sauces labeled as low sodium or reduced sodium. These alternatives contain significantly less salt while still providing flavor and convenience in your cooking. Similarly, choose reduced sodium soy sauce, low sodium broth, and spices instead of high sodium condiments to enhance your taste of your dishes. And if you listen to my last video about recipes, I talked about balsamic vinegar being an excellent substitution for soy sauce in any recipe, 
So go back and watch that if you're interested in that. By being mindful of the potassium and sodium content in the ingredients you choose, you can ensure that your grocery shopping supports a kidney-friendly meal plan. Grocery shopping for meal planning plays a crucial role in maintaining a kidney-friendly diet. By developing a grocery list based on your planned meals and selecting kidney-friendly ingredients such as fresh produce with low potassium content and low sodium canned goods and condiments, you can create delicious and nutritious meals while supporting your kidney health. Remember, regular grocery shopping and meal planning can help you stay on track with your kidney-friendly diet, minimize food waste, and save time and money. So grab your grocery list, head to the store, and make healthy choices that nourish your body and support your overall well-being. And in a few minutes, I'm going to tell you about a resource you can grab that will help you do all of that. One of my favorite things to do is to utilize seasonal produce, which can help reduce costs and improve overall health. Seasonal produce is fresher and more flavorful. Seasonal produce is harvested at its peak, ensuring maximum taste and nutrition. It's also cost-effective. Abundance of in-season produce leads to lower prices, reducing overall grocery expenses, and they're nutrient-rich. Seasonal fruits and vegetables offer a wide range of essential vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. Variety is key. Include a diverse range of colorful fruits and vegetables to ensure a well-rounded nutrient intake. Adapt your recipes. Modify your favorite recipes to incorporate seasonal produce. For instance, add fresh berries to a kidney-friendly salad or use seasonal vegetables in soups and stews. And be mindful of potassium and phosphorus levels. Consult with your healthcare provider or renal dietitian to ensure that the seasonal produce you choose fits within your recommended dietary restrictions. Some great places to look for in-season produce might be farmer's markets. Visit your local farmer markets to access a wide selection of locally grown seasonal produce at a reasonable price. Community-supported agriculture. Join a community-supported agriculture program to receive regular deliveries of fresh local produce. This supports local farmers and ensures you receive the freshest in-season offerings. Grocery store flyers and online sources. Check weekly grocery store flyers for specials on seasonal produce. Many supermarkets also provide online tools to search for and highlight in-season products. Some tips for meal planning related to um, in-season produce is... Plan ahead. Research seasonal produce availability. Incorporate it into your weekly meal plan. Freeze and preserve. If you come across a great deal on seasonal produce, consider freezing or preserving it for later use. This can help you enjoy the benefits of in-season produce year-round. So you would take the product. If it was a vegetable, you would cut it up, wash it, whatever, cut it into portion sizes, and then store it in your freezer, and you'd be able to use it later on but still by freezing it, you're maintaining a lot of that nutritional value. And experiment with new recipes. Explore online resources or cookbooks that focus on utilizing seasonal produce. This can add variety to your CKD meal plan and make it more enjoyable. By incorporating seasonal produce into your CKD meal plan, you can save money, boost your health, and enjoy the flavors of nature's bounty. Remember to consult with the healthcare provider if you have questions about your individual dietary needs. Now let's talk about some essential tips to help you establish a routine for meal planning, incorporate personal preferences and dietary needs, and adapt recipes to fit into your meal plan. These tips will enable you to save time, reduce stress, and make healthier food choices. Establishing a meal planning routine is crucial for staying organized and on track with your nutritional goals. Start by setting aside a specific time each week to plan your meals. This could be on the weekend when you have more free time or any other day that works best for you. Use a meal planning calendar or app to jot down your meals for the upcoming week. When you're getting started meal planning, it's helpful to go around your house and note what items you have plenty of in the pantry, refrigerator, cabinet, and freezer. And use this as a guide as to what might what you might want to plan to reduce grocery costs. When you're planning your meals, consider factors such as your schedule, grocery shopping day, and any upcoming events or commitments. Take into account how much time you have available for cooking each day and plan accordingly. It's also helpful to create a shopping list based on your planned meals, ensuring you have all the necessary ingredients on hand. Meal planning allows you to incorporate your personal preferences and dietary needs into your meals. Whether you follow a specific diet, have allergies, or simply have certain food preferences, meal planning can accommodate all of these requirements. Start by considering your favorite foods and cuisines. Incorporate a variety of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats to ensure a well-balanced diet. 
If you have dietary restrictions or allergies, explore alternative ingredients or search for recipes specifically designed for your needs. I'm going to talk in a second about using technology to help you with this. You might need to adjust the spices, reducing salt, for example, but you can try new meals each week. It's recommended to start with mostly meals and recipes you've made before, old standbys. Keep a list of these in your meal planning system to just pick from meals that you know you like. And then add one to two new recipes per week to provide variety and add new tastes to your meals. Plan those for days when you have extra time. That way you're not stressed by trying to make meals that you've never made before in a very tight crunch. Experiment with different flavors and textures and cooking methods to help make your meals exciting and enjoyable. Don't be afraid to try new recipes and adapt them to fit your preferences. Remember, meal planning should be flexible and adaptable to suit your needs. There's a link in the description where you can grab a free blank monthly, weekly, and daily meal planner, plus a grocery list blank that you can use for meal planning. Click that link, jump over there, and grab that free product so you can start planning right away. Sometimes you may come across a recipe that you love, but it doesn't quite fit into your meal plan. Don't worry, it's a possible it's possible to adapt recipes to suit your needs without compromising on taste or nutrition. Start by analyzing the recipe and identifying any ingredients that you would like to substitute or modify. For example, if a recipe calls for a higher potassium vegetable and you're limiting potassium, try changing that to a lower potassium vegetable if it works. If a dish contains meat, consider swapping that with plant-based proteins like tofu, lentils, or beans to lower sodium, cholesterol, and fat in a meal. You can even do a blend of half and half. Additionally, you can adjust portion sizes to fit your nutritional needs. If a recipe yields more servings than required, consider halving the ingredients or saving the leftovers for another day. This will help prevent food waste and save you time and money. Make sure make a recipe with a plan to eat the leftovers that week or even freeze the extra servings for a week when they don't have as much time or energy. Lastly, feel free to get creative with your own personal touch to recipes. Add extra vegetables, herbs, and spices to enhance the flavor and nutritional value. Don't be afraid to experiment and make the recipe your own. With CKD, you limit proteins, and many times it might seem like a smaller meal until you beef up the sides like vegetables and starches to make a full plate with the extra fiber that helps you fill up without the extra protein. Successful meal planning involves establishing a routine, incorporating personal preferences and dietary needs, and adapting recipes to fit into your meal plan. By following these tips, you can save time, reduce stress, and make healthier foods. Remember, a meal planning is a flexible process that allows you to customize your meals and enjoy a variety of delicious desserts. In today's digital age, we have a plethora of online resources and mobile apps available to help us with meal planning and nutrition tracking. These tools can be incredibly useful in achieving our health and dietary goals. Let's explore some of the key benefits and features of using these resources. The internet and mobile applications have revolutionized the way we approach meal planning. With just a few taps or clicks, we can access a wealth of information, recipes, and tools that can make our meal planning journey much more convenient and effective. Recipe databases and websites such as All Recipes, Food Network, and Epicurious offer a vast collection of healthy and delicious recipes from different cuisines. These platforms often provide advanced search options, allowing you to filter recipes based on specific dietary preferences, ingredients, or cooking time. You can explore new dishes, find inspiration, and easily plan your meals for the week ahead. You can also check out our most recent recipes at renaldiethq.com. Head on over and scroll down the front page to the recipes section. You can also purchase pre-done meal plans at renaldiethq.com that are designed for two people and have breakfast, lunch, and dinner and snacks already adjusted specifically for people with CKD or CKD and diabetes. You have the ability to add your own recipes, do nutritional analysis, and change or adjust what you plan for the week. It's very much suited to people with kidney disease who need meal plans and don't want to make their own. You can find the link for those in the description. Online grocery shopping and delivery services such as Walmart, Instacart, and Amazon Fresh have made it easier than ever to get your groceries without leaving your home. These services often have mobile apps that allow you to browse products, compare prices, and schedule deliveries. By utilizing these platforms, you can save time, avoid impulse purchases, that's a big one for me, and ensure you have all the ingredients you need for your planned meals. 
I love that I can order online and have it delivered with Walmart, but also most stores today have the ability to order online and do a pickup for free. So take advantage if you can. While meal planning tools can assist in organizing our meals, it's equally important to keep track of our nutrient intake. By understanding the nutritional value of the food we consume, we can make informed decisions and ensure we're meeting our specific dietary needs. There are several mobile applications such as MyFitnessPal and Fitbit that allow you to track your daily calorie intake and macronutrient distribution, which macronutrients are carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. These apps often have extensive food databases, barcode scanners, and personalized goals, making it easier to monitor your nutrient intake and make adjustments as needed. Many of them allow you to just scan the UPC code with your phone and it will add all the nutritional information to the tracker. In addition to tracking calories and macronutrients, it's essential to pay attention to your intake of essential micronutrients, such as vitamins and minerals. Apps like Chronometer and MyPlate provide comprehensive nutrition tracking, allowing you to monitor your intake of specific vitamins, minerals, and other essential nutrients. They can help identify any deficiencies and guide you towards a well-balanced diet. And while online resources and apps can be valuable tools, it's crucial to remember that personalized guidance from a registered dietitian can provide the most accurate and tailored advice for your individual needs. Registered dietitians are trained professionals who can analyze your unique dietary requirements, medical history, and lifestyle factors to provide you with a personalized nutritional recommendation. They can address specific concerns such as weight management, food allergies, or chronic diseases, and develop a meal plan that suits your goals. A reminder that our meal plans at renaldiethq.com are designed by a registered dietitian, me, and made specifically for CKD patients. Utilizing online resources and mobile apps can greatly enhance your meal planning experience. They provide convenience, inspiration, and organization helping you stay on top of your dietary goals. However, it's important to remember that these tools should be used in conjunction with professional guidance from a registered dietitian who can offer personalized advice and support. By combining online resources and expert guidance, you can optimize your meal planning process and make positive changes towards a healthier lifestyle. Thanks for joining me in our deep dive into the world of kidney-friendly cuisine. Chronic kidney disease, CKD, is a silent ailment that affects many, but today we're not staying silent about it. Instead, we're exploring how to craft delicious meals that not only tantalize your taste buds, but keep your kidneys in top shape. CKD might be silent, but that doesn't mean your meals have to be bland. Understanding CKD, we talked a little bit about the intricacies of CKD and the different nutrients that you manage with CKD. Incorporating nutrient balance, understand the significance of a well-balanced meal plan. We talked about portion sizes, nutrient proportions, and the importance of variety. We talked about bulk cooking, discovering the advantage of cooking in bulk from saving times to nutritional control to portion control. I talked about grocery shopping, equip yourself with the strategies for effective grocery shopping, focusing on those kidney friendly ingredients. And then from online platforms to mobile apps, harnessing the power of technology to make your meal planning journey smoother using meal planning tools and resources. And don't forget, we have meal plans at renaldiethq.com. Links in the description. Join us as we empower you with the knowledge and tools to make every meal a celebration of flavor and health. Whether you're living with CKD or simply curious about kidney-friendly cuisine, I promise you a wealth of information. Let's embark on this flavorful journey together.